Welcome back, everybody. Our next guest star is Katie and Stewart in the Smash Crave original series, Letter Kenny. Take a look. Take about 20% off of there, bud. Can confirm. Wait for it. That's a Texas size 10 for it. you both here. The season is about to start and drop on December 25th. So tell the fans, what can they expect from this final season, season 12? Ooh, season 12. I mean, it's a classic Letterkenny season. So it's joke heavy, it's super silly, bit inappropriate. <laughs> we love it. Um, <laughs> there's a really um, beautiful narrative arc in this season that's really meaningful. And I'm really excited for the fans to see that. And I'm excited to see it too, because I haven't seen any of the episodes yet. So, no way. Yeah, right. so I'm going to be watching it for the first time as well. You too, right? Same. Yeah. And there's a oh. couple throwbacks from earlier seasons and early oh. storylines that we kind of touch back on. I think the fans will appreciate as well. So. Okay. Speaking of which, there uh, this has been on the air since 2016. Yeah. The show has earned 12 Canadian Screen Awards, mm -hmm. and it has recently been announced that this is going to be the final season. Yeah. So, Tyler, how do you feel about it coming to an end? <laughs> I know. Thank the you, same audience. way they all the expressed. Way, yeah. I feel the same way. Yeah. Um, you know, it's it's been an incredible period of our lives, both professionally and personally. Uh, we've been on this show for eight, nine years now. And to be a part of a show that's so iconic within Canada now is, has been a, a... It's so long. A, uh, it's so long. Yeah. yeah. And then, you know, <laughs> as a Canadian performer, I've been acting for 20 plus years now, and a lot of the time we... Uh, we uh, are placeholders for American productions that, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. use Vancouver as Seattle mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. Toronto as New York. And for us to be a Canadian show, wave the Canadian flag and have our yes. colorful yes. Canadian yes. money. Yes. 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 Huge accomplishment. Yes. Well, this show's origin story is amazing. It started as a YouTube series and it became Crave's first ever original series. Mm -hmm. So, Michelle, what do you think is the secret sauce? Like, why has this show hit with so many people? I mean, it's really hard to say when or when something isn't going to work. I think initially we knew it was funny. We knew that we all had great chemistry in that first season. We could feel it right away. And you guys know, it's like when you all work well together, people mm -hmm. pick up on that and mm -hmm. they feed off yeah. of it. They could kind of tell that we also all really got along genuinely in our personal lives as well. I think mm -hmm. that adds to it in a way. Um, yeah, you never know if something's going to hit or if it's going to translate sure. elsewhere. The fact that it's gone into the States and the UK and Australia, because mm -hmm. it's so deeply Canadian and we're like full oots in a boots. Yeah. And we were like, <laughs> like, the fact that people like it elsewhere and they yeah. want to watch it and they get a kick out of it, it was surprising, but um, it's also just so lovely and it makes you feel quite proud. <laughs> yeah, you proud yeah. to be Canadian. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, totally. And Tyler, you know, the show's hilarious to watch, but we're all curious. What's it like on set? Are you guys having just as much fun offset as you are, as you are on set? Complete silence. No jokes. <laughs> Yeah, no eye contact, Michelle. She won't let anyone look at her. Okay, but, gotcha. Uh, Not allowed. No, we have a lot of fun. It, yeah. The show moves really quickly. Uh, you know, we'd have one or two takes per scene uh, in our dialogue. You know, we got four or five page scenes, six page scenes. So uh, we move very quickly. You show up to set, you're prepared, you do your dialogue. Maybe you get to have a little bit of fun, do a little improvising, uh, and then move on. But uh, it's uh, not so often you get to have... Um, a ton of fun filming a show, and then folks get to laugh and, and have a great great time watching the show as well. Yeah, so. we've loved it. And any significant... Yeah, please clap for that. And, you know, any significant ending deserves a significant celebration, Michelle. So how will the cast be cel celebrating the series finale? Ooh, I mean, when we wrapped... So we filmed uh, this final season last year, and when we wrapped, a bunch of us came down to Toronto, and we went out. Oh, there it is. There you go. <laughs> So yeah, we we had some fun in Toronto. <laughs> we definitely tore it up and celebrated mm -hmm. in very Letter Kenny fashion. Um, and then tonight we're going to a hockey game. Nice. A few of us flew into town to do that. But I do think that we're gonna all stay in touch and try to continue, obviously, our friendships and our professional relationships outside of Letter Kenny. I'm not sure exactly in what capacity, but I think we'll all stay pretty connected and keep the party going. I like that. Yeah. 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 We, we love do. It. Love it. We do. Yeah. We have loved watching. Thank you both so much for being here. Thank Thanks you. for having us. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thanks.
Kenny's 12th and final season hits Crave on Christmas Day. We'll be right back. Hey there, what did you think? Drop your comments below and join the conversation. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you can find more on everything from food and fashion to pop culture and current events. See you soon.